Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a mesh network between multiple Xiaomi routers, multiple Redmi routers or multiple Xiaomi and Redmi routers. As an example, I will set up a mesh network between a Xiaomi X1800 router and a Redmi Axis router that are both updated to the latest version of their software. As always, if this video is helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. It really means a lot. So let's get started. First, you need to choose the router that will act as the Mesh Master Router. That means the router that powers the local network. So for me, that will be the X1800. And then you need to choose the other router or multiple other routers that will act as mesh nodes with the goal of extending your Wi-Fi coverage in an efficient way. So for me, that will be the Redmi AX6. We're now going to connect to the administration interface of the master router. Quick reminder that the master device must have been initialized for the first time before running this mesh tutorial. Only the master device needs to be set up and running. The other mesh routers don't need it. If you don't know how I've set up this router for the first time, I've made a review video for the AX1800 so you can check it out. So to access the administration interface, you need to be connected to your master Xiaomi or Redmi router from a laptop, smartphone or desktop through Wi-Fi or Ethernet and then go to your browser, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, whatever, and type 192.168.31.1. Then you must type your administration password to access the interface. Quick reminder that this is probably the same password as your Wi-Fi password. If you don't remember your password, I don't think there is a way to change it besides resetting your router. Once you are on the administration page, you're going to take your other or multiple other routers and plug them into an outlet. Then you're going to take a two speaker or something like it and press multiple seconds the reset button of your node router until the light indicator lights out. Finally, you just have to wait until your system light indicator turns blue and we are ready to set this router as a mesh node. So on the administration interface, you just have to click the mesh button on top and then click the blue button to search for available mesh nodes. As you can see, we have found our available Redmi Mesh Router, so we can select it by clicking the blue button. Then we can select a room for the Mesh Router. It doesn't matter, so you can always pick the first living room option. Finally, you just have to wait a bit more until the configuration finishes. Once you see this green check mark, that means you successfully created the mesh network between your routers. If you have problems or you don't find your node router, make sure to bring your node router closer to the master router for the first configuration step. If everything is okay, your mesh router should now display a blue internet light indicator. Finally, on the home page of the administration interface, if you click the top left icon to see the devices connected to your network, you can now see a mesh network section with your mesh nodes. If for any reason you want to remove a node from your mesh network, you just have to reset the shoes and node router. So I hope you guys enjoyed this highly requested video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And if you got any question, just ask in the comments below. I'll see you on the next one.